Take a look at this little guy. Oh, oh my god. My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it, stay wildin'. What's up my Walden people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. Guys, I just came home from work. It was a rough day and I want to take this opportunity to emphasize that this coronavirus is something serious. It's not something for us to take lightly or joke around with or downplay. Guys, please do your part and stay indoors and at your house if possible, when possible. Apart from that, if you do plan on going out, please practice social distancing. That's one of the best things you can do to protect your loved ones as well as other individuals around you. Apart from that, let's give a shout out to the medical staff, the people in the healthcare field, people in the hospitals, the people in the pharmacies, anyone who's working during these times of this pandemic. We appreciate you guys. All right, guys, so you may have noticed there's a box in my hand. I just came home to this little surprise. I'm excited to show you guys what's in the box. So enough of me talking. Let's get right into this. Let's get it. All right, my Walden people, take a look at this beautiful 32.5 gallon tank. This, this tank has been cycling for a couple of days now. It has two air stones, has some aquatic plant life as you guys can see right over there, right over there. And it has a nice population of mosquito fish that are thriving in here. So guys, all that's left to do is add the fish that I've been waiting for. And guess what? It's night time, but the fish has just arrived. Alright, so here's the package. You guys excited to see what's inside this package? Without further ado, let me open it up. I've wanted for quite some time now. It's one of my dream fish. The suspense is killing me, and guys, no, it's not a catfish. Although I am the catfish king, this fish that I have here is not going to be a catfish. Oh, you guys can kind of see what it is right there. Kind of. Kind of. Oh my god. Take a look at this little guy. Alright, guys, we're going to drop him in here to acclimate. Oh, we drop him here to acclimate. We'll leave him for about 15 20 minutes. And while that's going on, it's night time, so let's go take a look at some of my fish. Let's go feed them. Time for some nighttime feedings. Take a look at this. Drop some of that good meow mix and watch the fish eat. Oh, look at that red tail. What's up, boy? Oh, I just missed that cool spot. Whoa! I guess the arowana was hungry too. Gotta feed these fish twice a day. Make sure they get big and strong. Oh, look at the shark. That's cool. Yeah, these tigers are getting <laughs> ridiculously big. Eat up, fishies. Eat up. Alright, my Walden people. It's been well over, well over 20 minutes. So now it's time to release the beast. Put this down here. All right, so I just scooped up our little buddy right now. Look at him. He's puffed all up. If you guys don't know by now, this guy right here is a puffer fish. Oh, an MBU puffer fish. Whoa. Take a look at the colors and patterns on this beautiful little guy. All right, we're about to let's set him free into his new home. Look at how beautiful this thing looks. These MBU puffers, guys, I've always wanted one of these. Right now, he's about two inches. Right now he's in my 32.5 gallon tank. The tank is looking pretty good, but there is a lot more that I want to do to this tank. I'm going to add some more plants and some more decorations. Alright guys, I'm actually really tired. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning, so we'll take a look at him in the morning. Guys, comment below and let me know what you guys think I should name this guy. How's Puff, Puffy, Roni, Rona, I'm not too sure, Spike? Eh? Alright guys, so it's the next day, take a look at the MBU Puffer. Wow, he looks very hungry. So what I'm going to try feeding him first. Here's some blood worms, some frozen blood worms. Let's see if we'll go for them. Huh, we're good. Let's see what's gonna happen. Come on, little hunger boy, you got to eat. It's starting to disintegrate, starting to fall down. Let's see if he sees it. What gonna do? Food is all around, boy. You just gotta eat. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's moving around. Come on. I'm gonna fatten you up. Coming closer, he's coming closer. Is he gonna eat? Oh, guys, he just started eating. 
He's gonna go crazy. I know when they do. Oh, there he goes again. He's just eating it up. Oh, guys, this is adorable. This is adorable. Ah, oh, I'm so happy he's eating. Look at him just tear up into it. Now he knows it's food. He's just, he's adjusted to his new surroundings. Now he's just eating little by little. Come on, man. We want to make you thick. So they have to starve him to make sure while he's being transported, he doesn't vomit. So as you guys can see, he's nothing but skin and bones. All right, look at our guy. He's out here chomping. All right, so he saw me look at him, so he stopped eating. It's like that, buddy. Really? It's like that? All right, guys, I'm hoping he's enjoying his snack, but unfortunately, I have to go to work. So take a look at him when I come back. Wish me luck with all this coronavirus craziness happening right now. No pharmacy is safe, and unfortunately, no pharmacy is closed. All right, so today is day two. And take a, take a look at our little buddy. Oh, he just winked at us. That was so cool. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I have decorated the tank. I put some plants. Here's an overview of what the tank looks like now with one, two, three, four, five different types of plants and some white rocks. Let's take a look at our puffer. How's he doing? Take a look at him. Whoa. He looks freaking awesome. Such an adorable puffer fish. Alright, let's see if he's hungry. It's been a long day. Let's see if he has an appetite for some seafood. Alright, I'm going to give him cam on half a shell. Drop it in right here. We'll see if I'll go for it. And it's dropped. Now we wait for him to find it. Now we just wait for him to find it. Alright, let's try to guide him. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Follow the finger. Alright, guys, it's a little baby. So it's gonna take a little time to actually train him. Very close, very close. He's looking, he's looking. Come on. Come on. There's the food right there, buddy. Oh. He's close to the food. He's close to the food. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys, take a look at this. Look at our puffer fish go. Oh, my God. He is destroying. Destroying. Roaring his meal. Oh, look at our puffer fish. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. Oh, look at his, look at his little belly. But he's getting pretty full. Look at him go. As you guys can see our little buddy ate. Oh my god. Our little buddy ate so much that he's... Yeah. <laughs> that was a good meal, I guess, huh? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. How's our blue lightning bolt lobster doing? I'm about to find out. Alright, there he is. He's looking for some other meals. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh! Okay, he almost went for me. He gets excited and I get jumpy. Ooh. He took it. He got it. And now, he's devouring it. Okay, so from what I can tell, he has molten. If you guys take a close look right over here, you can see some old blue shells. There's a pair right there. 
That's one of the fish I just fed on. And right there in the corner is a pair of old claws as well. Good to go. And that was the update on my Thunderbolt crayfish. All right, my wild people. So you guys saw my new puffer fish. Oh, take a look at him. Let's see what, look at what he's doing. Just out there chilling, looking all cute and adorable. <laughs> Alright guys, since I'm a new puffer fish, welcome him to the wild world of Farley. I'm still thinking about a name. Apart from that, you will notice that some of my recent videos and some of my upcoming videos are going to be more tank focused because I'm trying to stay indoors as much as possible. I'm hoping you enjoy these videos and I'm hoping you're doing your part to keep those around you as well as your loved ones safe. Until next time, stay wildin'. Hey, hey you viewer! Before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.